Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, is well known, but have you heard of Malaysia's 450-meter high twin towers, crafted by Samsung? Initially recognized for selling noodles, fish, and vegetables, Samsung has diversified into sectors such as fighter jets, chips, tanks, insurance, finance, and chemicals. While many associate Samsung with mobile phones, TVs, fridges, and electronic items, the company has evolved to compete in various industries. With the entry of Chinese brands like Xiaomi and Realme in market, some speculated that Samsung might face a fate similar to Nokia. However, Samsung's real size and influence were often overlooked. Today, besides Google, Samsung is a dominant force in controlling Android. The company's impact is undeniable, making it essential for the creation of any smartphone, be it Google's Pixel or Apple's iPhone. Samsung's journey from a company selling noodles, fish, and vegetables to becoming a key player in the smartphone industry is fascinating. Lee Byung-chul, hailing from a wealthy family in South Korea, founded Samsung Trading Company at the young age of 28. The name Samsung in Korean means three stars, symbolizing bigness and power in Korea, with star representing everlasting. Initially, Samsung was a small trading company that gradually expanded its business in South Korea and neighboring countries. Lee Byung-chul set up the company's headquarters in Seoul and by the year 1950, Samsung had become one of the top 10 trading companies in South Korea. The Korean War prompted them to shift their base from Seoul to Busan. However, the war posed challenges, making it difficult for Samsung to survive. They became dependent on imports for food and essentials. After the war, facing the need to diversify, Lee Byung-chul made the strategic decision to enter the business of producing affordable products for people. Recognizing the large-scale production of sugarcane in Korea, Samsung began with a sugar refinery. Utilizing the profits, they entered the textile industry, aiming to provide inexpensive clothing for the people. Samsung initiated the production of woolen mills, establishing Korea's largest woolen mill. This diversification strategy proved to be a pivotal move that saved the company from sinking. In 1968, Samsung's board decided to enter the field of electronics. Within a year, Samsung Electronics introduced its first product, a 12-inch black and white television. Shortly after, Samsung became the world's number one TV manufacturer. In 1979, Samsung entered the microwave market, followed by air conditioners in 1980, color televisions in 1981, and personal computers in 1983. Realizing the dependency on other companies for electronic components, Samsung acquired a semiconductor company and started manufacturing its own parts. This move allowed Samsung to globally export its semiconductor chips, 